Okay, what we're going to look at tonight is Wireshark. Wireshark is a network analysis and packet sniffing tool that basically lets us look at the information that's going across the network. Um, depending on where you're sitting on the network depends on what information you'll be able to see. So take for instance, if you were running a bridge connection to a router, you'd be able to see a lot more traffic coming through from the other router if you've got clients connected. <coughs> tonight we're not going to do that, we're just going to look at um, downloading Wireshark, so uh, download and install Wireshark from wireshark.org and then you should be presented with a screen that looks like this one. You might have to select your drivers, um, sorry interface, you may have to uh, also install the WinPCAP drivers. Um, do that. Right, once you've loaded Wireshark you're going to want to start a packet capture. So if we click on interface list uh, we see here, these are the interfaces that are available to us. So what I'm going to do is just start the Microsoft one. And this is now monitoring anything that goes through the Microsoft networking, um, to, well, basically through our computer out onto the internet. <coughs> so to start with, I'm just going to go on to here, and we're going to pull up google.co.uk. And you'll notice that now if we go back into Wireshark, lots of stuff has started happening with the packet capture. We've started getting lots of packets through. Okay, that's good. We're capturing packets. <coughs> Why is that good? Well, take for instance if we visit this website <coughs> and type in admin and password or my password. Right? And attempt to log in. Okay, so we haven't got the username and password for this website, but that's completely irrelevant. Um, what we're going to do now is stop the packet capture, because we know that the information in this capture, uh, um, capture has, has been captured, if that makes sense. Um, and you're going to go edit, find packet, so now we can search through the uh, packets for the data. And You know, you can search for things like passwords, or you could search for uh, user or USR or PWD and um, that might bring you back some interesting packets if you were sat listening to other people's traffic on the network. Um, not to mention MSN conversations, files, web pages uh, and lots of other stuff. Uh, but we're going to get into that in the next episode when we look at setting up a rogue AP. Alright, so. And here you'll see this post here says HTTP post, which is the post that happened when we click the submit button to log in. So if we look at this packet, you'll be able to see the information in binary at the bottom and the alphanumeric characters uh, that have been passed here. Also you'll be able to see on the other screen you can see where the packet has come from and where it's going to. So from this we know that their server is running on 83, 170, 73, 70 and that could be useful to some extent. <coughs> and if we look at the text here, this is the actual URL that was sent uh, as the request to the server. And you'll be able to spot password equal to my password and you'll also be able to spot username equal to admin. So. If you were searching through packets and you typed in username, any packets that uh, contain the word username, which you know is usually on the login screen, you could see. And that concludes our little look at Wireshark for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to sniff passwords out using and using packet capture. Um, we'll be using Wireshark a little bit more um, in some future episodes. So uh, get it installed. Have a go at sniffing your own packets and tomorrow we're going to show you how to sniff other people's packets.